Good afternoon YouTube, this is Kayleen Stern coming at you with a, a video that I said that I would go ahead and do. I talked about that last night during my uh, ration stream, but this is my compost bucket. And what I have been putting in here, I had a, shells from a dozen eggs. I have coffee grounds. I got bits of leaves and bark. I got uh, spent tea bags after I take the staples and the strings off. And the bigger tea bags, like the quart ones, I open them up. And then uh, I have crushed. Yeah, just dry leaves that I've crushed up. And I just got a bunch of, uh, well, just some, a little bit of fine dust that I would get, say, if I bring in sticks, because I do bring in sticks from outside. And they dry out, so I can have them for my twig stove. But... I have put banana peels in there. I got two more bananas that I will eat for my breakfast unless I choose to eat one tonight because they're, you know, they're still firm. They haven't gone completely soft yet, but uh, I actually cut the banana peels up before I put them in here. I have an orange peel and I have apple core minus the seeds because I collected the seeds and let them dry. Then I have like apple stems and uh, just really tiny bits of like sawdust fine stuff and then I got this out of my uh, spare utensil Door. I have one of those plastic three drawer storage things that uh, I have a, assorted items in. And this is one of those things that I rescued from the side of the road several years ago. So I decided this would be a great way to turn my stuff in here. Usually I hold the bucket, but I basically, I've just been turning it a little bit so that everything breaks up and mixes up. And this is just my first attempt at this. And everything is starting to go black that I've already had in here. Every time I turn it, the eggshells get uh, broken up even further. And so once I do get to uh, the stage where I can start planting stuff outside because it snowed this morning. And there's a possibility we might get more tonight into tomorrow morning. But once it does get warm enough where I can plant, I have a hanging pot that was left here by the previous tenant. And it has a, basically a rock hard piece of uh, old potting mix. So I'm going to break that up and I should be able to do it with this thing, with this fork. Then I'll break that up, I'll mix this with it. And then I can go ahead and uh, Hopefully try to plant something in that. Plus I have my four bags of uh, potting mix that I bought off of uh, Amazon. But because of this uh, latest cold snap, I have to wait. I'm going to wait at least another whole week, maybe more, before I start planting things. So, But in the meantime, this allows me to add additional stuff to this bucket and mix it in. So that I can hopefully make 
that potting mix in that pot a lot better and I'll I'll put it in something bigger to mix it all together but this is the bucket that I have and uh, I will keep adding to it so and remember this is my first time doing this and the only animal matter that goes in here is the eggshells and actually when I put them in I just let them sit there and dry out a bit before I started to break them up when I added other stuff to it but the coffee grounds are still a bit moist the tea bags are are still a bit moist and of course the uh, banana peels and uh, the apple core were a bit moist when I put them in and of course the dry stuff but that gets moistened up when it comes in contact with the stuff that is still already a bit damp now this does not have any holes in the side or the bottom because remember, I'm doing this inside but I do not cover it You know, it does not stink it has that it's starting to get that soil smell so I'm assuming that is what it's supposed to smell like but it is starting to uh, break down and so I'll just continue to add to it until I can uh, go ahead and start uh, planting stuff outside of my deck so I Anyway, here it is. So if there is anything, I don't know if I should add any kind of liquid to it. Like I have a bottle of really old apple cider vinegar with mother that I had liberated from my mosque because, you know, it's been there while no one's been using it and we haven't. This is our second Ramadan where we're not doing meals. So, when I do empty that bottle, I'll just clean it out real good and I'll just put water in it. But anyway, if I heard something on some channel about apple cider vinegar, I don't know if I should uh, put that in there. There's not a whole lot of it left, but if I should go ahead and put that in here, then I may go ahead and do it. But otherwise I'll just keep doing it like this. Until I get to the stage where I can go ahead and start uh, mixing this in with that other uh, hardened stuff. Because I do want to try to save that. I just want to try to improve it. And hopefully something will grow. But anyway, I just thought I'd go ahead and bring this to you. Thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.